Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Our today's question on arrays is lead us in an array. The question states that given an array A of positive integers, your task is to find the leaders in the array. An element of array is leader if it is greater than or equal to all the elements to its right side. The rightmost element is always a leader. Let's consider the examples. In example 1, the size of the array is 6 and the array elements are 16, 17, 4, 3, 5, 2. As we can observe that there are three leaders in this particular array, namely 17, 5 and 2. Since 4, 3, 5, 2 is less than 17, therefore 17 is one leader. Similarly, 2 is less than 5, therefore 5 is another leader. And since 2 is the rightmost element of the array, it is also considered as leader. Let's consider example 2 where the size of the array is 5 and the array elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, 0. Here we just have two leaders namely 4 and 0. So now let's have a look at the approach to solve this particular problem. Let's consider the same example as given in the question where the size of the array was 6 and the array elements were 16, 17, 4, 3, 5, 2. The right side of the screen shows the algorithm for solving this particular problem. Initially we create a variable called max and initialize it with the end of the array or the last element of the array. So the initial value of max will be 2 and we also create a stack and name it as s. So we traverse the array from back to front that is from i is equal to n minus 1 to i is greater than or equal to 0. And at each traversal we check whether if a of i is greater than or equal to max. That is we check whether if 2 is greater than or equal to 2. And since this condition is true therefore we push a of i into stack. So the elements of stack are 2 and we update the value of max as a of i which is 2 itself and then we decrement i. So now i points to the fourth index or the value phi. So again we check whether if phi is greater than or equal to 2. And since phi is greater than 2 therefore we push phi into the stack and then update the value of max as a of i which is phi. And again increment sorry decrement i. Now i points to the index 3 and again we check whether if 3 is greater than max and since it is not therefore we just decrement i. Now again we check whether if 4 is greater than 5 and since 4 is not greater than 5 we again decrement i. Now i points to the index 1 or the value 17 and we check whether if 17 is greater than max which is 17 is greater than 5 therefore we push 17 to the stack and update the value of max as 17. And decrement i. Now i points to the first memory location or the value 16. We check whether if 16 is greater than 7, 17. Since it is not, therefore we run out of a for loop. So uh, the elements of the stack are 17, 5, and 2 from top to the bottom. And we can access these elements by running a while loop. And the condition is while stack is not empty and we create an output vector and push the top of the stack into this output vector. So the initial value of out will be 17. Then we pop out 17 from the stack. And again we check whether if stack is not empty and again push top of the stack to the output vector and pop the top of the stack. And similarly we perform it for 2 where we push two into the output vector and pop it from the stack. And finally we have reached a condition where we find that the stack is empty. So our output vector will contain the leaders namely 17, 5 and 2. So now let's begin with the actual code. The driver code is already given here. We just need to complete the function leaders whose parameters are the array a and size of the array n and the return type is a vector of type int. So as we have seen in the explanation part, we first create a variable called max and initialize it with the last element of the array, which is a of n minus 1. And we also create a stack and name it as s. Let's also create a vector, uh, uh, output vector. of type int and name it as out. So we traverse the array from back to front that is from i is equal to n minus 1 to 0 
and at each traversal we check whether if a of i is greater than or equal to max and if so then we push that particular element to the stack that is we push a of i to stack and we also update the value of max as a of i since a of i was already greater than max and after the for loop we traverse the array from top to bottom and we check whether if the stack is not empty and if the stack is not empty then we push uh, sorry we pop the topmost element of the stack and push it to a output vector and finally we pop the top of the stack and at last we return the value of our output vector and that's it we are done with the code and now we can compile it and our code is compiled successfully so we can submit it and a code got submitted successfully so if you found this video helpful do hit that like button and subscribe to my youtube channel for more such upcoming videos on must do coding questions for interview preparations thank you